Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so so much for joining me in today's video. Now in today's video I do want to do a full face with only clean beauty cream products. Now that means I'm going to show you guys how I actually like to layer my cream products on top of each other and also you guys i'm going to show you actually some of my favorite cream formulations in clean beauty i actually do have quite a lot of favorite cream clean beauty products but for this video i really tried and picked some of my very 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 favorite products on the market now i have some products i've never showed you guys before on this channel i do have this beautiful salt new york palette oh my gosh i cannot wait to show you guys this product i also have some new releases by grassa skin all in all all of the products i'm going to be showing you guys today are of course 100 percent cruelty free and most of them are vegan as well. Now you guys, I do want to mention that I live somewhere where we actually do have four seasons and we're actually entering the winter season. Now I do have combination skin and my combination skin, I mean right now in 2020 with all the face mask situation, you know, it is suffering. It is suffering quite a lot from the seasonal change. So I've been figuring out a way how to actually make my skin look pretty flawless. Also, I'm very keen on showing you guys how I actually achieved this full coverage look, you know, um, because I mean, it's, my skin is a little bit compromised, but I found a way recently to really, really improve it because my biggest problem with any sort of cream product is always, it might just break up on me, it might slip, it might transfer, you know, after a couple of hours, the whole face is a creamy disaster. And yeah, I found a way to actually do a really nice full coverage look with only clean beauty products um, that is still lightweight, that still looks like skin. My skin can still breathe and I really just want to show you these amazing, amazing products today. And yeah, you guys, so before we get started, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, you guys, I would absolutely love to have you here. You just have to hit that subscribe button. You can also ring the bell to stay notified about my upcoming videos. And if you do enjoy this full face of only cream products at any point, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. That would be very much appreciated. And yeah, let's just go bare face and let's get this rolling. Right, you guys, I am bare faced right now and ready to apply some of this beautiful cream makeup. Now, right before I want to apply any sort of makeup, I do want to take a step and prep and prime my face. Right before I do my makeup, usually I use a really nice face mist. So I actually swapped out my Fit Glow Beauty C-Toning Mist with this OCC Vitamin Boost. This is a very refreshing facial mist and it's also very hydrating. So OC Malibu is a vegan, cruelty-free skincare brand and I was very, very curious to actually try out some products by this brand they seem like a very eco-responsible brand as well. Now, I do think this has some pomegranate in it, which is very good for balancing your skin, for hydrating, plumping. It doesn't really contain a high dosage of any like essential oil or anything irritating. So with my combination skin, my biggest issue is that I constantly run into cream foundations that will slip on my skin, that will break up after a couple of hours. My T-zone tends to get a little bit oilier and the cream foundations just, they don't look nice on there, you know. They accentuate my texture, they just look cakey. So let's actually start with a primer for my oily T-zone. So I actually like to apply the Cover FX Mattifying Booster Drops. I'm gonna give this product a good shake because it's very, very liquidy. So this is kind of like a gel-like formula I'm a really big fan of like gel serums. I feel like they work very well with my combination skin. It comes out really easily. This dropper is really good. And then I just like to press it in here, right here where my pores are a little bit larger. I do know I get oily around here. So I'm just making sure that I'm pressing this in. Okay, and then for the rest of my face, I do want to use this priming serum. Uh, this is the Ilia True Skin Radiant Priming Serum. So it's going to sink into your skin. It's going to really be like a really lightweight serum texture. And it's also going to hydrate and nourish your skin. You do have to shake this product up 
This comes in the same delivery system as the cover of Axe Mattifying Drops. Now this is a dropper. I like to put this right onto the parts of my face where I do get a little bit drier. Right, so I always skip this around like a minute or two to actually sink into the skin and then it's actually gonna activate its gripping effect. Okay, you guys, so I feel like my face is primed and prepped. So let's move on to the foundation. I had the toughest time ever to actually find a good cream foundation. Actually, I am so, so happy that I found a foundation that works so well on my skin. This is a foundation that won't slip on my face. It won't break up. It just gives me amazing coverage as well. Those are some things that I am personally looking out when it comes to actually liking a foundation, liking a product. Also, I really like foundations that really agree with my skin, you know, that wear a long time, that don't break apart on my face. And also, I don't like foundations that transfer. Um, I really don't like that. But that being said, you guys, let's talk about the foundation that I'm about to put on my face. So this is the Lila B Marvelous Matte Cream Foundation. This is an innovative whipped creamy foundation that provides full coverage, infused with nutrient-rich ingredients to soften and hydrate skin. Blendable and buildable, it helps improve skin texture by smoothing, concealing, and evening out skin tone. This lightweight creamy formula feels like a liquid but transforms to a powder matte finish, giving you a natural, flawless looking complexion. Honestly, I feel the same way about this product. And it's also vegan and cruelty free. And it's free from gluten, parabens, phthalates, sulfates and synthetic fragrances. So this is the shade B Natural, which is their second lightest shade. Now the way I like to apply this is I like to take this onto my Clove and Hello Perfecting Buffer Brush. So when it comes to cream foundations, I actually like a brush that has shorter hair, that is a little bit denser, that is also slightly angled so I can really get into all the little corners of my face and you know really drag the foundation where I need it to be dragged but also kind of go in with circular motions to really blend the product in nicely. Now my trick with this Lila B's slogan is less is more so I would advise you to actually go in very lightly with this product you can always build it up afterwards. It's easier to build up a product you know slower if you do have the time instead of just smashing it onto your face and then ending up you know having it slip later on or you know having it break up and yeah so but yeah I really really love this product so let's actually start and uh, applying it. So I left this out on purpose because I do want to use um, a different product, but you guys, oh my gosh, this foundation looks so stunning. I really honestly love this cream foundation. It's just really nice, you know. The finish of this, as they said, it is so natural. My skin still looks like skin, just a lot better. I mean, just compare it to my eyes for a second. This is so red and veiny and all of it. So none of this is cakey. None of this is actually transferring into any fine lines. All of this just looks very, very smooth. And that's what I really like. And uh, I feel like you could use this product on any sort of skin type as long as you don't overuse this you know so for my eyes in terms of cream concealers i do want to use um, a cream concealer by the brand ritual de Fee. so this is their ethereal veal conceal and cover 
and I have this in the shade Ceres. This is a really nice concealer that I like to apply on my under eye area. This is their second lightest shade. Now I will say this has a little bit of a peachier undertone, but it's gonna actually cancel out some of that darkness right here. This has more of like a light to medium coverage. I feel like you could build this up. Um, they also say that you could use this as a cream foundation. I've never tried that. Now I do want to mention that this concealer unfortunately is not vegan. It is vegetarian. This contains lanolin. However, if you are looking for something that is similar to this concealer in texture, in consistency, in finish, I would highly advise you to try out a 100% pure long last concealer. I have this in the shade white peach. This is very, very similar in formula to the Ritual de Fee one. Um, this is vegan though. So if you're looking for a vegan one, this is a zinc oxide based concealer. It's water resistant as well. It's a really, really nice formula. So in case you're vegan, this would be the option I could give you. So the way I like to apply this is actually, I like to warm this product up a little bit in the pan with my finger, just a little bit, you know, and I'm just gonna press it right in here you know and also i'm going to do that on the other side and i'm just using like tapping motions i'm not swiping the product around i'm just literally just tapping I really do enjoy this concealer a lot. I need to set this later on with powder, obviously. It is very luminous. It is very radiant. So I actually do want to use one product that I use every day. I had pan on it and this is actually my eye primer. So um, I do want to do this right now. I do want to put something on my lids to conceal the lid. So this is the Lila B Virtuous Veal Concealer and Eye Primer in the shade B Vibrant. Now the trick with this product is again, less is more with Lila B. Just dip your finger in once, just swirl it around a little bit and that's enough already. And then I just like to go in one swipe and then the rest on this one. And you really don't need that much product. I feel like you can get away with very little product. So this is very highly pigmented. So really this is an all cream base. Um, now, in order to actually make cream products work, at least for me, I cannot go in straight onto this uh, base of creams with another cream. Now, I do want to set my face with powders. So let's actually start off with setting my eye primer by Lila B. So I love to use the 14E Cosmetics Aloe Nourish Prime and Set Powder. This is a powder I always use on top of this cream product that I just put on my eyelids. So for my under eye area, oh my gosh, you guys, I actually want to use a powder that I've been just loving so, so much recently. This is amazing for my under eye area. So I'm just going to use this today. <laughs> so this is the Kia Wise Translucent Setting Powder beautiful packaging, amazing, same sort of like system um, than the Lila B ones, it's like sliding, but this one is refillable, you guys, so you can actually get a refill. I have an old one too that I <laughs> kind of just keep in here because I don't have any other storage for it. So you can see this is the old sort of formula. This smells like Play-Doh natural sort of powder makeup, but this one, they added a fragrance in here. I know it's like an essential oil fragrance, but uh, I just wish they would have capped this powder the way it was because it's amazing. And I'm just going to dip this into the powder 
and just set my under eye area with this. Let's actually use a mattifying powder for the rest of my face. And recently I have been trying out this powder and I love this powder so, so, so much. So I want to use the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. I have this in the shade Light. You guys, this packaging, I have to say it, it is awesome. Because it actually comes with this protective lid that you could open up like that. So you can't spill any product which is awesome to travel with so let's actually apply this onto my face i'm just going to use this much powder and i'm just going to pack it into the brush and just dust it all over my face so nothing is moving around everything layers beautifully so my base is all on my cream base is set so let's move on to the next layer and let's actually add some color to this face. So today, you guys, I wanted to show you this amazing product that I've been trying out over the past weeks and I've really loving so, so much. So this is the Salt New York palette with their cream tint pros. Now, Salt New York is a brand that was founded by another YouTuber called Kiki G. I'm going to link her channel in my description box because she does have such great, great informative videos on her palette that she created. This is actually a vegan palette. It comes with this really nice golden zipper. It just feels like so sturdy this actually weights a little bit as well and uh, yeah the first thought that i had when i had this product in my hand was like wow i can definitely travel with this and yeah let's have a look what's actually on the inside now this is my palette that i customized now you can get this palette in two different sizes i do have the bigger sized version of this comes with a really nice mirror as well you can also put a brush in between here my palette is actually filled up with her product uh, her lip and cheek tints um, but you can put anything in here you know you can put anything that has a magnetic pan you can actually pop into this palette. So let's talk a little bit about the Cream Tint Pros, uh, about the formula, what they're actually claiming on their website. So one pan retails for $16. So three formulas, 20 shades, one ring to rule them all. Love that Lord of the Rings reference. Amazing. That's already like, you already scored, girl. Each formula is buttery soft, easy to blend and often sheer, buildable coverage with a soft skin-like finish and contain absolutely zero nonsense ingredients like talc, artificial fragrance or mineral oil. Uh, vegan and cruelty-free, non-comedogenic, hand poured in New York City. So let's actually start with the Sculpt and Bronze Cream Tint Pro formula because I do want to start with sculpting, like contouring and actually bronzing up my face. So they have six shades, light, light to medium, contour, medium, medium to deep and deep. Now I have two of these shades. I have the light to medium one and I have the contouring one. So right here is the contouring shade and right here is the bronzing shade. This contouring shade is unlike any other cream contouring shade I have. I honestly think it's super unique. It's amazing. It's actually really, really cool toned. It really imitates a real sort of shadow effect on your skin and especially on my skin tone. What I came to realize is that I really have to warm this up a little bit. So I really just kind of swirl and you know, apply some pressure onto the product. So what I like to do is I have it on my finger right here. So I'm just gonna disperse the product onto my hand. I'm just gonna take a little bit of product on here. I already feel like this is enough. Now you do wanna make sure that you have a tissue at hand just to wipe off your fingers because otherwise it's a mess. So I like to take this on this RT200 brush and I'm just gonna stamp this product into the brush and then I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to stamp it on here and just around my cheekbone area. Thank you. 
I really, really love this shade to contour with. This looks so smooth, so not patchy, so buildable, so blendable. Just remember to really just put it on your hand first and then take it from there onto the brush. Now for bronzer, um, I'm gonna use the shade Light Medium, the second lightest shade. So same thing, I'm gonna warm up the product with my finger first. So I'm just gonna take that much and then I'm just gonna take it all into the brush and just warm up my cheeks a little bit. These two shades combined, I mean, this looks so, so smooth. Let's actually move on to the lip and cheek color. So I picked up two of these shades. I have the shade Rose, which is described as a cool light shade. And I also have the shade Wine, which is described as a warm, deep shade. And I also have two new shades, a shade called Spice and a shade called Cranberry. Oh man, they look so, so nice. So yeah, let's actually play around with these two colors. Now I'm going to go into the shade Wine right here and I'm going to use the shade Wine really just on the upper parameters of my cheek and this one, the shade Rose, I'm going to use that on the apples of my cheek. So more though it's the center of my face actually. And I'm just going to dip into the shade Wine but same thing, I'm going to warm them up with my finger. Why do I have some room left? I'm going, just going to take this onto my arm somewhere. So I'm just going to take this onto the brush and I'm just going to put it mm, right here. I'm just going to blend this out. Just like that. That's all you need. Can you see? I did not use a lot of product at all. This is really just going to give you a healthy flush. Um, some warmth. I really love this shade. I like a good red blush, sometimes a good wine shade, a cinnamon spice shade, something like that. Always works well with my skin tone. I'm also just going to take it up here just a little bit. And I'm going to go into the shade Rose right here. And I'm going to take that onto the apples of my cheeks. So I'm just going to warm up the cream with my finger again. Same thing. This does have a little bit of a gloss, a little bit of a radiance to it. It's like reflecting the light just a little bit, but it just works so nicely though on the combo skin if you use it this way. If you don't overuse this cream, if you don't pile it on, if you layer it in thin layers on top of each other, it's gonna work wonders. So my blush is on, so let's actually move on to the next part. Let's move on to the highlighters. So I got three shades out of their six shades that they are offering with their Radiant Highlighters. Uh, I have the shade Pearl, I have the shade Beige and I have the shade Gold. Now I do want to use the shade Beige first. The way I actually like to apply the highlighters is with my fingers. So let me actually wipe off my fingers because there's still some blush on there. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is the shade Beige. I'm going to warm this up and I'm going to take my ring finger for this and then I'm just going to tap it onto the tip. But I'm going to go in with this shade right here now, the shade Pearl. Let's take this a little bit and let's just make it a little bit icier. This looks smashing. So I am so, so glad that I actually got my hands on this palette. I really, really like it. And also I just want to mention that all of these pans were shipped to me in a paper sort of packaging. So nice, so well thought through. So my complexion is all done. 
Now let's actually move on to my eyes. For my eyebrows today, I do want to start off with filling them in with a pencil and I'm going to take the Beauty Cat Naturals pencil. I do think this is the shade light or light brown. One of them, this is a really nice pencil. I don't have a cream product, you guys, for my eyebrows. I don't have um, a pomade or anything. And I'm just going to go in with this pencil and fill them in. Okay, you guys, I feel like I filled in my brows enough. I do want to keep them a little bit more natural though for this look. Now, I do want to go in with a brow gel that I truly, truly love. This is the Hourglass Arc Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel in the shade Warm Brunette. I feel like mine is nearly empty. I think this is going to be an empties product very, very soon. There is nothing left. Not much left. Just goes to show how much I love this product though. It's so nice. Um, I kind of knew this was running low. That's why I went in with a pencil. Otherwise you don't really need a pencil because this fills in your brows like dramatically and it keeps them in place. If you really want to volumize your eyebrows, this is a really, really nice product. Okay, but so enough with the eyebrows. Let's actually move on to the cream eyeshadows that I have for today. I truly came to love this eyeshadow formula so, so, so much. So these are the Gressa items. Now these items are all vegan. They're a cream to powder formula. That means they're gonna be creamy when you touch them. But once they go on the eye, they're actually a powder and oh my gosh, they are so freaking awesome. Like I love the blend of this. I love the pigmentation. I pretty much love everything about this product. And let's also talk about the brand new shades that Grassa has just recently released. I think these are her autumn shades. They're really, really pretty. I mean, when I saw these shades, I was just like, I have to have these. They're so nice. And I just know how much I'm going to use them. Now, I do want to use shades that are part of the permanent collection. And I do want to use a couple of these new released shades too, to create this eye look. And I will tell you, this is an eye look that will work for your everyday makeup. It uh, looks always flattering. It's very easy. It's pretty effortless. Sometimes if I run late for an appointment or if I run late for something and I need to just look put together, I'm going to grab these because uh, let me tell you guys, they're just easy. If you know how to use them, if you follow my advice a little bit, you may really fall in love with this formula. So I do want to bring something up though about the packaging here. Now, Grassa is known to have amazing packaging, sustainable. I think it's even like uh, protected from blue light radiation or something. It's really good glass quality really really amazing now let me tell you that she actually changed up the packaging now this is the old frosted glass version as you may be able to tell this cracked up now this is the older packaging and i do think there was an issue in terms of keeping this formula fresh with these little jars now this has been vamped up to this packaging and i think this was the original packaging then she got this and she brought this one back. Now the new ones, I do want to show you the shade Butter Rum. This looks much more oilier still, much more like a cream, whereas this is cracked. They work a little bit more to my personal advantage once they have dried down. Now I think this is personal preference. I do have very oily lids, so I kind of embrace more of a powdery texture. I am also going to insert some swatches of these new shades that she released so you can see them all swatched on my arms. 
Let's actually start off with a shade of their permanent collection, which is the shade Navy. Now, this is described as sort of a neutral pink, a skin color, like you can use this as a base. So what I actually want to do is bring this color onto the far inner corner of my eye, lift it up a little bit and brighten up the area of my eye that I want to be a little bit brighter in shade. Now, since this has dried down a little bit, I just, it literally just suffices to take a little dip in here warm the product up a little bit and you're going to see the cream on your brush now i kind of like to tap it off and you can see how crazy pigmented this cream is so i like to tap it off a little bit just disperse it and then just damp it on like that All right, you guys, so the very first shade is laid down. So now I do want to move on to another shade that, oh my gosh, I constantly use and I'm just kind of obsessed with this shade. So this is the shade Roasted. It's actually a perfect contouring shade, in my opinion. So I'm just going to take this onto this brush just a little bit. I kind of warmed it up. It looks a little bit destroyed, but yeah, that's just how this product works but it's so pretty so once this is on my brush I'm just gonna go on to the outer sort of edge of my crease and build up some shadow with this shade This looks very, very cool toned right now. I'm gonna use the shade Butter Rum. This is a really nice, more like a, more of like a warm sort of brown, like a chestnut brown. So I'm just gonna put this on my hand and then take it from my hand onto my brush. I feel like I'm going to use the shade Ash, this ashy green shade on my lower lash line. For my lid, I actually want to go in with this amazing, beautiful, beautiful shimmer rose gold shade called Oreo. This is Finito. This looks so stunning. I really, really love it. I'm just gonna quickly put on some mascara and then I'll be right back. Now for my lips today, I do wanna use this Lip Boost actually by Gressa in the shade Lilith. Oh my God, this shade, it's so pretty. It's like a cool toned brown movie sort of shade so so nice so i actually do want to go in with a lip liner so i'm going to use the victoria beckham lip definer in the shade 04 i think that's going to be a good match so i'm just going to go in with this lip liner line uh, the outline of my lips and then go in with the Gressa lip boost This is so nice. This is so hydrating. Such a beautiful product, this lip boost. You know what I kind of want to do though? One last thing, because I think I did not use this radiant highlighter for my Salt New York palette, this gold shade. I'm going to use this gold shade just a little bit. It looks 
really nice. I'm really happy with the look. I do have so many other cream products that I truly, truly love. So I'm going to try and do my best to make a part two. Also, you guys, if you want that, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know if you actually want a part two. If you have enjoyed this video, if you have enjoyed this look, I really hope your skin is going to get through the winter. And do let me know if you have any sort of favorite makeup or skincare products for the winter season. Uh, just drop me a comment below. I would be really curious to know. And before I leave you today, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, I would absolutely love to have you here. You just have to hit that subscribe button. You can also ring the bell to stay notified about all of my upcoming videos. And you guys, I shall be seeing you on here very, very soon with the next video. So please take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.